when they see the full arsenal of channels and, and tools to communicate yes. with the audience, sometimes they, they oh, which one should I use? Should I use all? Yes. And, yes. and what we found is that a, a systematic approach, understanding your audience, understanding who they are, where they spend time, mm -hmm. will actually lead you to of the choice of the channel to you. You know, a lot of marketers and corporate communication practitioners, sometimes they approach their marketing in silos. They, they think about digital, they think about traditional, and they try to come up with a, a message for digital and traditional. How are you thinking about a full integrated marketing solution and, and its place in marketing for your audience? Well, brother, I'll tell you very frankly, that's the only way that we know how to operate uh, at Moosey. We, we are firm believers in IMC. Integrated marketing communications is at the core of everything we do. Consistency in message. We need to make sure that we are speaking, may not be the same way uh, across different platforms, but we're delivering the same message. Whether it's an equity message of the, the world's most refreshing bear, whether it's a campaign message for NBA, or whether it's just Merry Christmas, we need to make sure that we communicate the exact message across all platforms. And... Today's marketer has it a lot easier than when I was coming up 10, 15 years ago. You have so many ways to reach your audience. You know, you could reach them to your, your traditional ATL, you have your BTL, and now we have the phone and your, your laptop and your mm -hmm. tablet somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I think the advances in technology have, have allowed us now to make sure that we have the, the, the consistency in message that we need, mm -hmm. that we are able now to drive that message in a way that it relates to uh, the user, or how, you, how that message is being consumed. So case in point, you know, we put something through digital mm -hmm. that appeals to the exact profile of the person that's consuming it. And I think personalizing that message while driving home an underlying point, I think is, is critical, not only for Bayer, but I mean generally in, in marketing as, as, as an industry. And it's funny you say that um, marketers have it easy because I agree. But is that I think sometimes people, when they see the full arsenal of channels and, and tools to communicate yes, with their audience, yes, yes, yes. sometimes they, they oh, which one should I use? Or should I use all? Yes, and, yes. and what we found is that a, a systematic approach in understanding your audience, understanding who they are, where they spend time, mm -hmm. will actually lead you to of course, the choice of, of the channel to use. And, um, and so it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that. I guess it sounds like that's essentially the, the, the type of thinking that you no. have, of course. Yes. At the end of the day, um, we want to make sure that we, it's a business. So we need to get the IR, ROI on the, on the, the yeah. money that we're spending behind certain channels. I remember um, digital wasn't even a thought mm -hmm. 10 years ago. Uh, people, oh, that's a pass, it's a file, yes, pass, yes, and everything yes. like that. And, and, and we, we see now, we, as part of my annual operating plan, we are mandated to spend a certain amount of money on digital. And I spend way past that yes. because I understand mm -hmm. why is it. I mean, the person we're going after, again, you're fishing where the fish are, you, the person that you're going after lives on their phone. Yeah. They live on their laptop. You know, son, television, people already look at television. I, I can't remember last time I looked at television. Everybody's Netflix, you yeah. know, yeah. you know some sort of parrot in some kind of <laughs> yeah. But at the end of the day, you need to understand where your target market is. If your target market watches Game Show Network, then that's where you need to be. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, what we at Cosa London, we put a lot of money into research and a lot of data-driven yeah. decisions are made as to where we put our, our dollars. Uh, and yes, you know, people might think, yes, we're an international company and a couple of nights over, but that's not the piece. Yeah. We still need to see sure. that we sure. get right. the well. correct, yeah. correct. So what we've realized, and our organization invests a lot of money in, in training people such as myself to, that operate in, in the regions to understand the digital landscape, yeah. to understand, to have conversations with organizations such as yourself so that you know, we are at least walking around to a certain level of what's happening in the industry and able to have that intelligent conversation and make a proper decision on how we're going to reach our consumer and turn those likes into sales. And interesting, um, you know, I, even as marketers, they, you look at your marketing mix. Um, I know I've heard some people say, well, oh, you know, digital replaces traditional. 
But what we've advocated is that there really should be a recalibration of your, your marketing mix mm -hmm. to include digital, yes. to ensure yes. that you, you, to your point, consistent in your message across the channels, mm -hmm. but also you're reaching the audience that you, you're going after. Even as you mentioned um, watching TV, what we've seen is a scenario where the second and third screen, right, the advent of the second and third screen. So while people might be watching the television, you have your mobile device, your iPad, and other devices there, and you're tweeting, you're following on your hashtag, and etc. Mm -hmm. and post it. And so once you understand the persona of your audience, exactly. and you're able to, to really walk in, almost a, a walk in their shoes, and mm -hmm. understand the, mm -hmm. the experience that they, they have, then you're able to now use the appropriate channel to communicate with them. Oh, yeah, definitely. And that's critical now for a modern-day marketer. And, and most times people don't quite get that. Or they, they're fearful of using the, the wrong channel. And it really, to your point, the training and other areas can help most marketers understand and appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I mean we're all going to make mistakes. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I could give you tons of stories where I've spent bad money yeah. <laughs> on, 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 on methods and campaigns and whatnot. But I mean, the, the important thing is that we have data to back up the decisions yeah. that we make. Uh, and I think it, it would serve all marketers into a certain extent very well to really understand what is going on digitally, to understand. And I mean, at the end of the day, digital in and of itself is such a wide swath mm -hmm. of, 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 of platforms and apps and formats that, yeah. that I mean, this it, it, it used to be Facebook and now it's Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok is now yeah. one that, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's, yeah. <laughs> I see my kids using <laughs> it's, it's a ton of different yeah. things. Every day is something new. I remember yeah. going to a digital forum and we came down for the second day and the guys had to scrap what they were going to present because they were like, well, guys, Facebook wrote a, an algorithm that makes this obsolete. Yeah. And now we have to represent something to you today because that is no longer viable. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the digital landscape in and of itself is changing every day. And it's tough. I, I totally agree with you. You yeah. could get analysis paralysis. Yes. You could stand up there yeah, exactly. and not know where to set your first foot. Yeah. I mean, it comes with experience. It comes with, and you need to have the data. You need to understand who your audience is, yeah. as you said earlier, and be able to take that chance and, yeah. and understand where you're going to reach them and how you're going to reach them. But again, consistency in messages completely through the line. If you're going to make sure that your billboards are going to be saying the same thing as what you're represented in the store to your digital communication, how the product itself is positioned, integrated marketing communications. If you're not doing that, you're really not making much sense. Yeah. And in fact, as you mentioned, the data and being data driven, I think that's one of the things that obviously we've been advocating for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but given the tools that are available to the modern day marketer, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's almost like you have to be a little bit more scientist than artist in, in, in marketing, right? And uh, I've mentioned this before with, with, with other folks. I think you know, you, you kind of have to use digital and use the data to apply some science to the art of marketing. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that in terms of uh, the profession itself? Well, I, I think the good thing about it, Brother, is that, let's take Facebook, for example. Yeah. Facebook has analytics that I'm sure the average person has no idea exists. Mm -hmm. The average marketer may not know exists. And, yeah. and the, the good thing about now us being, having, having that digital landscape rising to the front is that it takes a lot of the ground work out of analysis. We can simply craft reports, we can broadcast where we need to broadcast, we can geofence, we can do a lot of different things that traditional marketing through ATL or radio and, and all these other things don't allow us to do. Yeah. I think, and, and, and I mentioned it a little while ago, I think that we need as marketers locally, I, I'll give you an example. I met with an organization when I was interviewing agencies and to them digital was a was an afterthought mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was oh well yeah by the way we have a guy that comes in and does pages right my like, good you're, you're not the guys for me yeah i need somebody who's up in front who understands what's going on and not only understands how to make a nice post mm -hmm. but understands the analytics behind it can come back and tell me what your click-through rate is your engagement i don't know because you can read off a screen mm -hmm. but how do we use that data now to make a decision how do I know, okay, at the end of the day, uh, this woman between the ages of 18 to 24, between 9 and 12 in the evening, click through more often. Yes. And us, how, okay, how do we leverage that? Yeah. We need to be able not only to have, the, have any data is one thing, mm -hmm. but we need to be able to mine it yeah. and yeah. make a yeah. proper business-driven decision of it. Yeah. 
Or is it just going to be with reams and kilobytes and megabytes yeah. and terabytes of data? <laughs> and you have, yeah. you have no research on this. 